Hello guys, thanks for stopping by the channel. Uh, my name is Q and this is a follow-up video to the first video I made uh, regarding uh, showing the off-screen video footage of the Xbox Remote Play app uh, running on my Android Pixel 3 XL. Um, so in this video, we're going to go into the process or the steps on how to set it up on your Xbox. And I'm pretty sure this is going to apply to the Xbox Series X and S when they come out later this year. Uh, so in this video, you'll see me navigate my uh, home screen on the Xbox uh, One X. And what you want to go to is you want to go to your settings. And then from your settings, uh, you want to go to, uh, I believe it's device and connections. So when you go to device and connections, there should be an option uh, for remote features. So uh, with the uh, once you're in that option and you enable it, um, it'll run through a um, kind of like a test. So it's going to test your connection. And uh, if everything is good, uh, after a couple of seconds, what you'll see is a bunch of check marks all the way through. Uh, when when that is complete, then pretty much uh, your Xbox is ready to stream uh, to the mobile app. And once you do that, then um, then go ahead and open up the mobile app. So um, this next video is uh, a video capture from my Android device. Um, so I have it streaming to my Chromecast into my capture card. Uh, so basically, you go into the um, the Xbox uh, app and it's actually the Xbox beta app so um, I believe they haven't gone out of beta yet so this is the Xbox beta app and you can search that on the Android uh, um, you know store or the Play Store um, the iOS app is coming soon um, so you know um, I'm pretty sure in a couple of days uh, it'll be available on the iOS store um, but as you go through the Xbox uh, beta app and on the bottom menu uh, you'll see like home button uh, a friends button uh, a search and something that looks like um, like a bunch of books uh, that's actually your library uh, and in your library you have uh, captures and you have consoles so when you clicked on consoles uh, you want to choose uh, you know the console your Xbox console that it found on your Wi-Fi network click connect to it and then it's going to launch uh, into the con into connecting to your Xbox system and, and basically streaming your dashboard on your Xbox onto uh, your Android phone and you'll you'll get a warning stating if your Bluetooth controller is not paired to your phone uh, then go ahead and pair a Bluetooth controller uh, I don't believe in this beta form you have the ability to do uh, touch screen control via the app yet so um, so you do have to have a Bluetooth uh, controller um, you know paired to your phone but then after that yeah you're streaming on the mobile app and basically you're streaming from your your Xbox so basically you have access to all the games that you've installed on your Xbox and uh, you can play them on your phone on a controller you know somewhere within within your house so um, this actually also works when you're outside of your house uh, via cellular connection but that connection after some testing uh, there's actually a, a bit of lag and I think that it, they're still trying to iron out the bugs on it uh, you can see the bitrate go down a little bit so here's a video uh, capture that I took uh, off screen of the, my phone again but this time instead of uh, the Wi-Fi connection uh, it's actually being tethered onto my other phone and it's going out through uh, LTE so it's actually going out remote and coming back into my Xbox kind of you know mimicking or you know uh, simulating uh, a remote connection that that's not local right so uh, with that you'll see the video footage that I've captured uh, it's it's not bad in certain places of the video it's, it's smooth it gets choppy here and there I, I guess with uh, a lot of action happening in the video and then uh, from there uh, you can see the bit rate actually suffers a little bit so really if you want to remote stream what you're playing on what you have on your Xbox when you're not from at home um, I would say it's gonna determine it's gonna be determined whether or not your internet connection at home is fast enough so my broadband speed here that I'm connected to is a, is a 200 meg down and a 20 meg up so really it's your upload speed that's going to determine your how smooth your Xbox is going to be able to stream remotely via cellular to your mobile device uh, remotely when you're not home right so again this is not xCloud uh, this is remote play 
and you're utilizing your Xbox as a streaming server and you're streaming your content that you have installed on your Xbox uh, to your mobile phone, whether on your Wi-Fi or if you're remotely on a cellular connection. So it's uh, it's almost like your own xCloud service. Um, you know, so it's it's totally different than xCloud where a lot of the, the, the data for the game information is coming from Microsoft's server and um, everything that xCloud is running on is on Microsoft's Azure. So they have plenty of bandwidth, plenty of processing power uh, and, uh, you know, their their backbone's a little bit, you know, you know more robust when it comes to uh, streaming to your mobile devices. So this is just more of you doing it yourself and this is the reason why the apps are in the app stores and they don't violate what Apple or Google considers you, you know um, their policies right because uh, in a way these apps are, are kind of like remote desktoping uh, into your Xbox remotely so if you ever use remote desktop or you use like programs like team viewer or go to meeting it's similar to that it allows you to kind of access the dashboard of your Xbox remotely and it's it's you know a fast enough technology that you can play games with a very minimal latency you know so I think you know over time this technology is only going to get better um, but it's really cool to see this happen and again just like in my other video I hope Sony revitalizes remote play I you know after they can the Vita I mean I enjoyed remote play on the Vita through my PS3 and my PS4 but, you know, PS5, the Vita is already dead. So hopefully Sony will do the same thing and have a PlayStation app and that you can access and you'll be able to just, uh, you know, remote play from, um, you know, with, with a similar um, process and a similar setup like what Microsoft is doing. I think that's um, that would be pretty cool. So other than that, guys, let me know what you think of the video. Go ahead and make a comment. Um, and if you have any suggestions, if you like this type of content, uh, you know, then let me know so I can, uh, you know, start making some more um, content um, involving, you know, some of the cool tech uh, that, that the gaming industry has, um, not just consoles, but PCs and mobiles and things like that. So, yeah, uh, hope you enjoy the video. Uh, like if you do. And uh, if you want, um, you know, definitely subscribe for more videos that I'll post. But other than that, you guys have a great day and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.